silently this uh, we call it a revolution is happening in india especially this is the right time it's now or never like so uh, the customers also is more energetic and they are they are really uh, hungry to look for you know a good solution Hello and welcome to MTD CNC India. Today we are here at Emac Tech Day in Bangalore and I am here with Mr. Chakravarti who is the Regional Manager Sales for Emac India. Thank you sir, thank you for inviting us here. Yeah, uh, we also thank you for being part of this wonderful event. Thank you. So sir. thank to MTD CNC for uh, making us this into, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, into the big platform. So Thanks. to the next level. Thanks, Thanks for this. So sir, we are uh, this uh, success. This uh, show was very, very successful for you, right? So, what kind of technologies you have displayed here? Can you please tell us? Yes, uh, the idea behind this uh, uh, technology event, or we call, call it as Technology Day, is to reach to our customers. You know, uh, the known customers. Some known customers may not know that Emac has a big portfolio. So, to uh, reach to the known customers and also for uh, reaching to the you know, in a closed uh, circle of within the Hosur area or are in and around Bangalore. That's the whole idea of conducting a technology event at this lo location. So here, our focus was more towards the uh, aerospace, the two-wheeler segments, and also some job shops and tier one and tier two company. So it's a mix. You can say in the Bangalore, it's a mix of uh, 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 customers and demand. So here we have displayed uh, the complete solutions from Emacs, starting from turning, turn mill. Then we have, uh, as when you take as a uh, Emac as a complete solutions provider, starting from uh, casting to the finishing operation. So we, uh, so now we come with the hobbing. Then we have a finishing gear grinding then super finishing so we can give a complete so we, this is the whole idea to reach to the customer and sh sh uh, say that yeah emag is a complete solution provider not only a standalone machine provider you know we prove the machine in germany we supply as a turnkey solutions or we can give us a standard machine so we have a various different combinations so emag also has an automation division where we can automate the our own machines not for the um, uh, other machines. So it, it, it's a different uh, company as such, as, uh, as a, we can say as a partner to the um, uh, customers who are looking for uh, uh, typical components, uh, traditional components, or you can say a challenging part which has come from a new EV segment. Of course, Emag has done a good job in EV. So now our market share in uh, electric vehicle is also improving. So we have some uh, EV uh, manufacturers uh, for this show today. Awesome. Yeah. So I can see a huge turnout here in this tech show, right? Yeah, it yeah. was a very successful yeah. show. So what kind of uh, Indian manufacturer, you are interacting with a lot of, you know, customers and prospect customers here. So uh, how, what kind of Indian manufacturers came to this show uh, and interested in Emac technology? Uh, yeah. Today's event, I, I would say like, for example, uh, the top two-wheeler manufacturers was here for looking for a different solutions from laser welding okay. you know uh, we also have laser welding not only on the turning so we have a two wheeler uh, or a three wheeler there was a three wheeler manufacturer who was also looking for a, um, a laser solution uh, from emac and also we have uh, some aerospace uh, 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 representations where they are looking for electrochemical uh, machining from emac so we are in discussion with them so awesome. likewise we have also uh, uh, like a typical automotive segment uh, where the parts nowadays has become a challenge for them to finish component in a single setting instead of going various settings so a single setting will give them the more accurate so emag is uh, really uh, done a fantastic job in that uh, wherein we have invested in, uh, heavily on the r d and now we have developed a lot of technologies for uh, you know the latest components which is in, in, in the market. Awesome, fantastic. So, uh, uh, Mr. Chakravarti, what do you think how this southern India market is evolving? Because we know this is a, ma India's uh, manufacturing decade, right? Yeah. There is a silent revolution going on, right? So, how do you see this uh, southern Indian market, uh, which is, you know, uh, one of the biggest um, manufacturing clusters are here, right? How is it evolving now? 
yeah, you are put forward in a right way, like uh, silently this, uh, we call it a revolution is happening in India, especially this is the right time, it's now or never like. So, uh, the customers also is more energetic and they are, they are really uh, hungry to look for, you know, a good solution. Uh, in the past, we were only talking about uh, the low cost solutions and this and that. Now, we are speaking about the real technology which can, uh, you know, uh, help the customer if you calculate in the long term. So, this is give, really giving a benefit. So, uh, like how we have learnt, uh, I can also see the market is also learning and evolving. And southern part of India, in Chennai and Bangalore is all, all uh, making um, uh, challenging parts. And also we have good potential uh, in the north. In south, I would say that uh, the majority of the OEMs you can find yes. here. And also specifically talking about when now Indian manufacturers are getting ambitious, they want to export yeah. to the world, right? And uh, so the quality of parts becomes very important. And that's how I think they were interested uh, is to see how, what kind of technology EMAG is bringing so that they can, you know, increase the quality and accuracy of their parts and, uh, you know, beat the global uh, quality standards and export their products. Yes, uh, this is an inter interesting question, I would say. Uh, you know, the uh, Indian companies is also, uh, you know, equally, I would say equally they are uh, approaching for uh, for export to Europe or uh, US or and also India, Indian markets like, uh, you know, Tata or Mahindra is also uh, have done a really good business. So, it's a, a, like they are also smart enough, customers are also smart enough to keep a uh, market share of 50-50 or 60-40 between uh, domestic and international. So, uh, we find there is some customers who are importing the castings and doing machining and uh, supplying outside or they have their own foundry system and doing a fantastic job and they s supply as a value added uh, finished part exporting to the European market. So, this, this change from, uh, from the depending on more on to the domestic or uh, traditional way, this has completely changed for the, I would say, last seven or eight. It's a, it's a, a wonderful change. Fantastic. So, I wish you all the best for this technology day. Thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you for your time. Thanks thank you, a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.